Welcome back everyone. I'm Ed, still Edit Customs. Still working on the BMW. Need to get it finished. Today, we're gonna be putting on our SRS concept, weld on caliper brackets. This is the trailing arm. I had it out, so uh, now's a good time to do this stuff. And I'm just gonna wing it. They don't come with instructions. So, there's other videos. I haven't watched any of them, but we're just gonna go for it. <clears throat> I got some junkyard calipers. I think you guys saw the other day. I did that the other day. I think I'm just gonna delete the e-brake. Maybe, I don't know, but the backing plate's in the way. We gotta get rid of that in <laughs> the backing plate holds on all the e-brake stuff it looks like. Now that everybody can see better, and we got our uh, John Parks, I mean our Mac Tools banner up, we're gonna get rid of this e-brake. There. Hey, you get this backing plate, dust cover, whatever you want to call it. It's in the way of our second caliper. You could cut it out for your caliper. It's necessary if you want to run the e-brake. I looked in the rules, there's nothing saying that you have to have an e-brake. This whole hub has to come out to get that dust cover off. How lame is that? Yeah, the hub's got to come out. I'm pretty sure all that stuff's pressed in there. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Uh, yeah, just have him call me. Just have him call me back. I just wasn't next to my phone. Okay, what is your phone number there? Four two five. Three, two, three, seven. Perfect, okay. Alright, thanks. Okay, bye. 
waiting on a call back from Brian at Everett Clutch and Break. So, we'll get this rotor off of here while we're waiting for that. We're just gonna cut it with the angle grinder because I'm not gonna use my factory emergency brake. If you're gonna use your factory emergency brake, you need this. This is what it attaches to. That's how to improperly remove your dust cover backing plate. I'm saying it's a backing plate because there's brakes attached to it. Drum brakes. Wheel bearings feel okay. I'll run them. We don't want to miss Brian's call. We need to clean this surface up. This is where our caliper bracket's gonna mount. Somewhere in here. As far as I know. We're gonna get this part of the trailing arm prepped for welding. I'm just gonna clean up this whole area because I don't know quite where it's gonna go. Still waiting for every clutch and brake to call back. Hopefully I don't miss it. I'm gonna get the other one prepped and wait for Brian to call. I don't wanna to get too involved and miss, miss my phone call. I'm hoping he has this stuff in stock. Probably not. You'd have to notch this plate out if you want to save your uh, parking brake. That's not even going to bother with it. I'll put line lock in the car or something. Okay, I need to get it pressed so I can do my own wheel bearings. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Good. What'd you find? I have to have this stuff for you by Thursday. Wow, Thursday? Yeah. Oh yeah, what's today? Oh yeah, because the holiday. All right, good and coming. Okay, All right, thank you. Thanks. I'll call you next year. Have a happy new year. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, bye. bye. Well, we got parts coming now. Awesome. So we'll get this bolted on here, and then uh, we will bolt this bracket to our caliper. Let me turn it so you can probably see it.
All right, bracket. I'm not sure which way is the top. I'm pretty sure they didn't come with instructions. You're gonna want your bleeder facing up. Okay, we're doing this a new way. New idea. We're gonna measure, get your shop calipers. Always nice to have some shop calipers for beating on. We're gonna measure from the back side of the rotor to the bracket. We're gonna lock them in. And then uh, we're gonna place our bracket on here and just measure it out. Make sure we get the right standoff. I need the other caliper so my bleeder is facing up. It's the wrong side. Yeah, we want this one over here. See your bleeder? You want that facing up so you can actually bleed your brakes. I'm still undecided on what's the top and bottom. That's nicer. It's the same distance out. I'm gonna unbolt the bracket and flip it around and see this line's a little close to the trailing arm. Well, let's see how it fits the other way too. It's worth a look. They make bolt on dual caliper stuff. I'm not a bolt on kind of guy though. These are, <laughs> these are way cheaper. An eighth of the cost, maybe. Maybe less. It goes on the other way. It sits too high off the rotor this way. And that hole right there for uh, traction control, ABS, whatever that sensor was that was there. You have to cover that with, with these brackets. That gets welded over. You can't have traction control when you drift anyway. It's in the rules. So it's just a useless hole. So we're gonna plug it. All oh, right, I've done both of to do the rest. It's not that easy to get in there. We'll double check this measurement. I 
Here, right, take your time and do it once. I think we're gonna be just fine. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't attempt this with it on the car. That would have been a pain in the butt. Oh, well, here we go again. We'll get the other side ready and get get it put on the car show I've painted all the uh, Condor Speed Shop reinforcement plates and finished the SRS concept weld on caliper brackets for the trailing arm so now we can have dual calipers in the back of this so now we're gonna bolt everything back together I don't think that goes like that. Whoo, in a shock it. Actually, we're gonna never seize these. <laughs> Apparently, this is my BMW wrench. Because I don't have shit for metric wrenches bigger than 19. Condor. They also make all of these bushings, which would definitely be nice to replace on this thing. All of these. But that's going to have to be at a later time. Because you can spend $1,000 just getting bushings for your car. We'll never seize these too. Oh, forgot a washer. And that one I'm missing. I got the washer, I don't know where the nut is. All right, we'll move on to something else. What, I don't know. <laughs> 